Okay, so now I've collected all the tasks I need to do within my group. I've, given, I've grouped them, given them names. Now let's make a Gantt chart, which is a logical plan. So here's my blank template. Okay, and first, and my, the title of my project, Chair Design Project. Now, I remember there was three groups of tasks. So, first group, click to edit. Let's call this one, Gather Resources. Okay. Then, let's put another one. If we do another one, group of tasks, let's call this one, Research. And then another group of tasks we had create or make. So let's call this creating. Okay, so I've got my three groups. And now I have some well, I have three tasks. Now I have my subtasks. So let me remember what they were. So if I click on add a task, uh, gather resources, I needed to visit. Second-hand furniture shops. Add another task. Visit recycle plants because maybe I'll find a chair there. Let's add the rest of the tasks. So now I need to know when to do it and who's going to do it. So what I can do is I can invite other people from my group. So in my group, I've already invited Ms. Varsha and Mr. Casper. So let's see, research, people assigned. Who's good at research? Well, Ms. Varsha, I think is very good. Uh, visit the second-hand furniture shops. I know that Mr. Casburn loves going to look at old furniture and take photographs. So at the same time, he can maybe shop for a chair for us. Okay, so let's speed up the rest of these tasks. Okay, this is good. So now I can see all my tasks and I can see who's going to do them. Awesome. Now I need to decide when. So my project is due very soon, so I really need to think about when we're going to do these tasks. So on here, these are dates. And I can see this is the 30th of April, which is today. Okay, so I need to start to think when I'm going to do these. So when am I going to do the research? Well, I actually, I'm going to ask Varsha to start today. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add that to the 30th of April, that task. And I think it'll only take one day. I tell you what, let's give her two days, just to give her a bit more time. Maybe tomorrow she can do some more research. Uh, visiting the second-hand furniture shops to look for a good chair. Well, probably James is not going to do it until the weekend. So I can see the 4th and the 5th, or Saturday and Sunday. So let's, let's get him to, to do that on Saturday and Sunday. So let's speed up the rest of this. So now I have my tasks, I have who's going to do the tasks, and I have when we think the tasks will happen. Fantastic. Now, the beauty of this software is the different views we have. So I have the Gantt view. I have a list view, which is also very good. I can see research, gather resources. I can see the start day. I can see when it's due by tomorrow, Sunday. This is great. I can see who assigned it. It's a really nice view. Okay, really, really nice view. And I can also use this view to change when a task is complete. So let's say that already Varsha 
has done the research of how to add the USB charging port and she's finished the research, I can click in here and change 0% to 100%. And that means the task is complete. And I can keep going through this as we complete tasks. And that's how you use Team Gantt.